I've seen a lot of LEGO vacuum engines. I've even made some myself, although they didn't work very good because the vacuum I have isn't really suited for that job. But I've also seen a lot of pneumatic and air engines. And you know what I have? An air compressor. So today I'm going to be attempting to make a super simple LEGO steam engine that actually runs. Surely it can't be that hard, right? Oh! Who knew this would be the problem? Let's get to building. So the first step was getting a simple design laid out. I put some tiles down on a base plate and built up the walls around them. For this design, I'm using a 2x2 piston and an SVS style valve. This is what an SVS valve is if you don't already know. SVS stands for Slide Valve System, and it's exactly what it sounds like. When the engine reaches the equivalent of top dead center, the valve slides, opening a hole. This allows air to flow through to the cylinder and push the piston back. Then, just before bottom dead center, the valve slides, closing the hole and stopping the air. This valve design is most common in vacuum engines. With my design, when the valve is closed, it opens another hole on the other side, which allows the piston moving forward to push all the unnecessary air out of the cylinder. This isn't the most efficient way to build an engine, but it'll work for what I want. So now that it's built, let's head out to the shop and test it. Alright, so we're out here. I got the air compressor ready to go. Um, so we're going to do a test and see how this engine runs. All right, I'm going to let the compressor build up a little bit more pressure because I think we might have too little. A few moments later. All right, we got a lot more pressure. Now, let's do another test. Let's see how this thing goes. Hey, it's running. Oh, okay, so. Uh, apparently, a little bit uh, off of the end of the valve just went flying off. So apparently we have way too high of pressure in there. Um, so I'm going to tear this thing apart and get it put back together. Alright, let's try again. Let's go one more time. Come on, let's get something to run. Ah. All right, happened again. Who knew this would be the problem? All right, well, let's uh, pop back inside and maybe try to do a redesign here because clearly this design is not working. So the valve was blowing apart due to the pressure built up inside when the valve closed. So now I had to design a valve that wouldn't blow apart, and this is what I came up with. It's basically the exact same design, except it uses a one by one Technic brick instead of just a gap. This will make it a lot stronger and will prevent the valve from exploding. I also added a one by two slope on the end to block the air input, but still opening the exhaust hole. All right, modifications have been made. So let's see how well this thing runs. There we go. All right, let's see how fast it can go before it blows up. Woo! The end of the, the valve went flying off and it's because whenever it moves back and blocks this hole right here, it builds up a lot of pressure. So I'm sure between the pressure and moving back and forth, it wiggles its way out. But I'd say that's a success. I mean, it ran relatively quickly. I mean, it wasn't that bad.
There we go. So now, I'm gonna head back in and I'm going to try to make a realistic looking version of this. So I'm gonna try to make one that looks like a real stationary steam engine and see if we can get it to run at least somewhat like that. Maybe not exactly like that, but somewhere close to it. So let's go ahead and do that. That test was a major success. So now it's time to make this thing look good. And this is the final version. Alright, here's the realistic looking one. It's, it works exactly the same, it's got the same valve and the same piston, same everything basically, it just looks different. Alright, let's see how this thing runs. flywheel came rolling off so it doesn't run near as fast as the other one but I think this one looks a lot cooler I'd say this project was a success if you're interested in building this yourself there's a link where you can get the instructions in the description let me know down in the comments if you want to see more compressed air engines in the future I actually really like building these and I can see some potential anyways thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one